Hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming by, Christina. CSGS. Cheers. And I'm going to uh, avoid the uh, the uh, mug handle to microphone collision. Mug to mic contact. And turn it around to provide additional functionality. Mm. I was able to maintain a mug mic gap the entire sip. Cheers. And welcome to the show. Let's get the video started. It's actually working-ish today. Noticed it's been one month. It was March 4th. Army Day. Now we're a month away from Star Wars Day. May 4th, right? Yeah. March 4th and May 4th. Very 4th so. This is the gem that we're cutting at the moment. That's really loud. So we're going to do something about that. Bing. There we go. That'll help. Alright. Hey, Mother Nature's here. Cheers. And Kala S, how's it going? Thanks for coming by the program going to share yeah share the love share the awesomeness share this gem right this is a piece of morganite and yeah I kinda cut my fingernail out cutting through it but that's uh that's the gem that's up in the corner there I got three pieces of morganite from Jimmy at Honey Creek Gems over in Davenport, and here's one of the other ones, and we will be featuring this one eventually, too. Oh, man, we gotta get a better camera. At least it's not glitching anymore, hashtag glitch cam. So, we've got that going for us. One thing at a time, right? And the show is coming back together. I don't have the chat bot up and running yet, but I'm planning on it. I was actually looking into it, and I ran out of minutes before 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. Eastern. That's when we do the show. Welcome to the program. Is it working? It's not working unless I leave it up. Okay. Dang, nabbit. It's alright. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. We got jokes. We got the program. And... We got you, great people, for being here. You're all part of the awesomeness. And how did we do this? Trendy. We can spell, too. Spelling sometimes. Oh, no, it's not going to work without the chat bot. Oh, we got to get the chat bot up and going. I wonder if we can actually do that while I'm in the middle of a stream. I think we should try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Chris the Phenomenon's here. Hello, Mother Nature, says CSGS, Christina, and Sun Ghost Squad. Christina, I was watching one of your videos, and I saw something, and I was going to ask you about it, and it was like a week ago, and I was like, hmm, i got to ask her about it. So I'm going to try and remember what that is, and then that's going to happen. If no one has told you lately, you're awesome doing a fantastic job. Keep pimping that shit. I agree. That message is approved. Hola, Christina. If Benny did that song for... I love it. Much lady. Much love. Much lady love. Much love lady. And lady love. That's, yeah, great. Benny Loco's fantastic. She's wonderful. Which reminds me... Mother Nature, we gotta find a way. I mean, you make music, so we need to find a way for you to help make the sandwich song. Chris loves the sandwich song. It's fantastic. But it's not very good when I don't have music to sing it to. I think you've heard the sandwich song. Oh, thanks. Oh, wait. Were you talking to Jacob? We're talking to everyone talking to everyone. Mother Nature is fantastic like that. My chatbot actually is supposed to come up and tell you that you're awesome. And that actually comes from Mother Nature, courtesy of Mother Nature. 
Where is the chatbot anyway? Uh, I guess I can't. Yeah, I can't change that during the shoe. And, uh, maybe they've done away with the chat pod for the time being? It's possible. Could be considered. I make music, too, and we can sing like chipmunks. CSGS, you're talking to Mother Nature right there. You don't know the sandwich song. Mother Nature, oh my word, the sandwich song. It, and people tend to say, I mean, they say they like the sandwich song. So I appreciate that. No, the, okay, the sandwich song. <clears throat> Let me see if I can remember a little bit of it without the music. Because it's, it's set to the tune of the song Downtown Baby. We're gonna, we're gonna order sandwiches. Gonna make a Dagwood, just like Dagwood would. We're gonna use some cheese. We'll start with Gorgonzola. Add some barbecue, because no one likes it bolder. Need a giant bib, because you'll get some on your shoulder. Reaching for the napkins, none left in the holder. And there's other verses. We got we got a whole song going on. And we need to add the part about dip, dips and, and sauces and stuff. We haven't gotten to that. But we got the part like, we'll first we'll slice some bread. We'll start with pumpernickel, split top wheat rye, then we'll add a pickle. Sounds way better with music. It's phenomenal. I've put so many videos out. I'm so bored. I understand, Christina. I've been trying to watch stuff. People have so many great videos. And, like, I, I just haven't been able to take the time to make any. I've been doing so much stuff and getting ready for all of this, uh, this, yeah, that's going on. Which... I have a couple jokes about washing hands, so we'll tell those during the joke portion of the program. I finally posted a song yesterday. Oh, Mother Nature, you did. I saw you were making music the other night, and I like that you were going through all the bass lines and everything. I wish I wasn't so tired. I would have been a little more actively chatting, but I love just, you know, like while I'm doing other stuff, and I'm trying to set up this... Okay, I was trying to set up a Kickstarter, but actually I'm going to run on Indiegogo campaign for the plant food and the nice thing is I've been going through all my footage last year all the plants and everything you know I took pictures of plants and it's really easy to take pictures of plants and make one look better than the other just by where you put the camera so I was working really hard on getting pictures of plants as they progress and showing you know, it, it, it shows more of the, the stages of the plants. And so I've been pouring through the 25.9 gigabytes of pictures and some video to try and organize all of the comparison pictures I took last year. Also, I've been taking pictures this year already because we have strawberries that are sprouting. I have rhubarb that I, I already got the rhubarb going. Cleaned up the raspberries. They're, you know, they're sprouting out, but I got a little bit of sad news. Oh, man, it's so sad. So sad. I mean, ish, but yeah, it's sad. So, uh, the Rhubarb Fest is canceled. Oh, poor Rhubarb Fest. No, to Rhubarb Fest. It's canceled. Yeah. Man, we were going to win it this year. I was so ready to win it this year. I was in it to win it. But I wasn't even in it because we didn't get close enough. And, you know, it's June 6th and 7th and 8th, I think. And it's really devastating to, you know, the town of Alito because that brings in like 10,000 people a year. But I guess we'll do it in 2021. Oh, my favorite part, Jacob's jokes. I love you, CSGS. You're great. I love you for loving my jokes. Thank you so much. All of you are fantastic. Because my jokes, I, I, I got to admit, that this is the testing ground. And like five out of the six per week are terrible. 
Usually I try to have at least something good for you, and I save that one for last, but sometimes I try them out other places. And, you know, just to see which one's going to work out, you never know. But I, I try to write stuff that's fresh, and I've got a month's worth, and it's actually not even a month's worth, because there's only like eight of them or something, and a couple of them are kind of pretty close to the same one. That's another thing. Don't get me started with sauces. That song might get dirty fast. <laughs> I'm not talking about because I'm going to drop shirt. <laughs> oh, CSGS, you're funny. Trump and has way with it. Yeah, have your way with it, Chris. Just like a sandwich. Just a friendly FYI and heads up, I'm doing a stream on what I think is happening and why. I think I figured something out. I honestly hope I'm wrong. I know, Mother Nature, isn't that the real, like, double kicker? Because, I mean, we can talk about a lot of stuff, and I'll say a little bit. It's like, we need a new video because that one's over, but it's not over with the gem, it's just over with that part of that gem. Click on this one, and that's how we finish it out. Wait, we gotta have it up so that it'll play. Yay, to play! So, um, okay, so, let's see. Uh, I hope... Oh, I must have lost it. <laughs> I do that sometimes. And I, uh... So, I hope this is the biggest overreaction Ever. That's the kind of the tough spot. It's like, I really want this to be the biggest overreaction in human history, right? That would be the best outcome of this. The worst overreaction in human history. That's what I want. Now, let's dial it up and say that it was the virus is causing zombies, and there's people scratching at your door. Brains! Brains! That's, you know... We got to do something about that. Let's say that it's causing people to lose limbs and, you know, have strokes and stuff. That's pretty bad. A lot of what's going on is causing flu like symptoms. Uh, what's really the concern is the surge. It's like, is there going to be enough supplies? And is there enough medical staff on hand? And can we reduce the surge from happening? Because it could be a big surge, could be a small surge, etc., etc. But then that's where we start to get into what is the proper way to handle it. And that's another topic that is not gemstone related. I would love to talk about that on your show, Mother Nature. I'll either chat or I'll uh, go on panel. And it, if it's an open panel show with lots of people at the end, that's cool. I'll hop on and chat. If it's just a, you letting us know some information, I totally understand that too. You do great ones of those. And I'm going to give you a thumbs up for sure. Because you're fantastic. we got to get the chat bot going. We were going to try that, right? Oh, hey, uh... Yeah, we were going to get the chatbot going, and what else were we going to do? Because, oh, there's only one more video after this one. Yeah, and I think actually this might be the last video, and then the next one's just like, whoop, we did that. Look at that. I'm trying to smooth that over. I, <clears throat> okay, so Morganite's kind, kind of expensive. Not really, but kind of. Oh, and Mother Nature, I was going to show you this. That's what it was. Uh, it's kind of expensive-ish. So in order to make this one big, I was like, okay, let's make a circle, and then it'll have a point, and it's like a shield with, well, it's like an oval with a shield on it, and so that, I mean, you can see up in the corner, and then, uh, uh, you know, that kind of gives you an idea of how big it is. Um, this, this thing, let's make sure that I can handle myself when I'm doing stuff. J.U., I mean me, I mean... You're you, and I'm me. I mean, you're me, and I'm you. Jamie. That's what it was. I probably screwed that up a lot. But anyway, here is this thing. And I'm holding it wrong. Nope. It didn't work. Okay. So what you do is you pick a ring. 
yeah, you pick you pick one of these three rings, and that's what's hanging down. And then we gotta have a stone on here, right? And when you pick one of the other rings, a different stone hangs down. And when you pick one of the other rings, the other stone lo lowers, right? And so that's why it's a three and one. I mean, it's simple, but it's a unique idea, right? We call it the tripendi. Mother Nature inspires so much. What do you think, Mother Nature? I, it's a start. And what I want to do is I want to solder these together so that it's a little more professional style. I mean, this is cheap material. It's it's a, a prototype. But... It, you know, it's going to look nice, and it, it has to look, I mean, you know, we could tie one up with shoelaces and stuff, but uh, I think it'll look nice, and then if you want to tie the stones on, I'll send you all the stuff, and then you can tie them on there, and that would be really cool, because I tried to do some stone tying, and that is not going to work. I cannot do stone wire wrap tying. Oh, man. It, I, I mean, maybe if I took the time to get good at it, but... Uh, Cheers to the stone workers. Ah, gorgeous. You are so awesome. You are so awesome, Mother Nature. Keep being awesome and keep uh, building a great community because that's what you do. There's so many reasons to love Mother Nature. She's fantastic. You got to get to know her. And where... Let's see. Where are we? We were... Oh, yeah. We were... um going to try to fire up the chatbot. How are you doing tonight, Jamie? Spiralin. Spiralin. Didn't we have another thing for that? It was like G-Lin? No. Paralin? I don't know. Something like that. It was an idea and we had it. Oh, right, the chatbot. So the chatbot wants me to enter information. Just make a hole in the stone and use a jump ring. It's real easy. I was thinking about that, Christina, because a couple of the stones, I think we could put holes in them, but one of them, okay, one of them, I actually, I, I want it to be a clear crystal, and I want it to be like a gem, and I'm going for something cool. I'm going for like, instead of it being like, because pendants are different. They're shaped different. Did I lose it or what? I would do that. It, it, I drop it, and the thing just makes it go bling, and it's gone, and then there's still like three things that I'm trying to find in the basement, and, uh, Yep, that's a thing. <laughs> so uh, I'll let you know what I find. Oh, I did find that piece of uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. malachite. So we're gonna we're gonna feature this guy on the show. Malachite. That's a totally a thing. That's pretty. Hey, 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 Perth Observer, do you not read your bloody emails, dude? Oh, dude, I do not read my emails, Perth. I need to read my emails. I got an email that I need to reply to Roger with. Okay, so while everyone's here, I gave you the bad news about Rhubarb Fest. I'm going to actually give you some news that I'm going to try not to cry about, because I did. Um, <clears throat> our tiny little community here lost one of its great members <clears throat> Clifford Doust is resting peacefully in another realm cheers to Cliff he hung out with us on our soldering streams folks you you, you know I really didn't know this, but it turns out that Cliff, he was quite the guy. He made beautiful music. Man, he was great. He made some pro-grade stuff. Yeah. Email Perth. It's important. Do I have an email from Perth? I gotta look. Let's see. Burr. Server. 
I got no email from Perth. Really? Is it like something not Perth related? You need to email me. Gotcha. Yeah, Perth, if you want to send me a song to play for Cliff, that would be freaking... Because, I mean, folks, you might not... Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you chatted with Cliff. He came by the show when he could. Uh, real smart guy, real nice guy. World's worse off without him. We need more people like him. Why did she show up on the thinger? Oh, it said something about. Uh, it said something. It's a it's a YouTube thing. It's like Perth is live. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you my email, Perth, and then uh, you send me a thing. Oh, oh, there you go. That'll work. Got it. Thank you, Mother Nature, and Christina. You guys are wonderful, and. Uh, Chris already knows about it. Yeah, it, it 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 sucks for us, but it's good for Cliff. He's in a better place. I'm sure of it. He's a great guy. And, you know, like, okay, so there was some, like, soldering streams where I soldered, like, way on into the night, and it was just me and him just hanging out and chatting, and, you know, I got to know him and stuff, and we have a lot of similarities with our appreciation for soldering quality, and he's a real intelligent guy. And then to hear the music and stuff, it's like, sheesh. Uh, did I put that right? Okay. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that to the subject. Then she'll know it's me. <laughs> okay, I sent you an email, Perth, and the subject of the email is peanut butter. And Perth was picking on me because I was eating peanut butter. I don't remember exactly where, where it was going, but it was going somewhere special, so... <laughs> Oh yes, he cross over and in the promised land. Oh yeah, he's he's I'm sure he's well off. Cheers cheers to Cliff. Hmm. Where's the jelly? It's in the donut, Christina. Why haven't I done that again? We chugged a donut last year. It was like last Christmas. Jamie was here and dude, why Gee whiz, we gotta try and get the chatbot going just because Jamie's here. Cause it's like I made this chatbot intro and I only got to hear it the one time. And we gotta try and switch to the actual chatbot account. Oh man, let's see if this works. Is it gonna work? I don't know. I hope we're still alive. Are we live? I can't tell. Oh wow, we're at the end of that video? Really? We're still live, right? Okay. Still happening. Um. Alright, so now... I can actually go like this. This is going to work. It's going to work like magic. Wait, we got to do that first. All right, hold on a second. And then we can switch back. Okay, so that's going to work. And since the video stopped, as long as we're still having things working, yes, you're still live. You have a great soul gratitude. Gratitude to you, Mother Nature. J Glaze jelly to oh, Christina. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this a second while I get ready for uh, what you guys know as the joke portion of the program. Putting an entire donut in my little mouth was quite the task. If it's a jelly donut, that's gonna get slappy. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's see if. Well, actually, I don't. Wait a minute. I I know what I'm doing. I swear. There we go. Or I'm, I know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to know what I'm doing. Does that make sense? For the joke portion of the program. Thank you for coming by. Let's see if I have any jokes that can make anyone laugh. We have a lot to get through because it's been a month. And they're pretty bad. On his birthday, do people tell Burt Reynolds, Happy Burt Day? What kind of straws do they have it? Oh, oh yeah, if, if plastic straws are illegal, what kind of straws do they have at police stations? Copper straws. Do. Oh, that's a gaming joke. Okay, do crotch shots count as headshots? Gotta think about it. Okay, I saw a man using X's to put siding on his house. I guess he wanted to make it look like it was X siding. X siding. Ah, that's pretty terrible. What do you call the hardest okay, what what do you call the most difficult part to sing? No, what wait. What do you call the part of the song that is the most difficult to sing? The hard chorus. Yeah. Who washes their hands the most? George Washington. If I play the accordion with my face, is the song called Poke Face? Terrible joke. Wow. Okay, I have to jump in the shower. I'm going to be doing a new kind of water-based jumping jacks. Man, that's pretty terrible. Okay, we're almost, almost done, I swear. Who has the most hands to wash? Spider-Man! The, the, you know, not the actual Spider-Man, the, the guy with lots of arms, Spider-Man. This is a little, this is a little more correct canon. Who has to wash their hands the most often? Dr. Octopus. Because he's helping out, he has to wash them all the time. And that's all I really have for this month's joke portion of the program. Thank you for joining us for that. We try to make it awesome. I hope it was all you imagined it to be, and we'll have another one next week. All right, let's get to the rest of the wrapping up of the show with Jimmy's Morganites. You guys are fantastic. I hope that worked. I didn't even have a thing to check. Did it work? Nope. We're not moving that over there. We're moving top left. That's what it is, because it goes to the left. There we go. <laughs> uh, yay, those were great. Great job. Jacob and chat, cheers. Hey, cheers, Warren Dixon. Thanks for stopping by the program. The hard chorus. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> Don't poke me in the face. I could use an octopus to wash my dish. I know, right? Yeah, he would uh he would have a lot to wash. Octop you should train an octopus to make tattoos. Because they have the ink, right? It would just you know, if an octopus tattooed you with his own ink, that would be weird. You guys are the best. That's that's the joke portion of the show. 
If anyone has anything they want to promote, please promote it for me. I want to promote Chris, the phenomenon, because his plants are looking great. He keeps sending me pictures, but he needs to send me videos. And um, or he needs to post videos so that I can play them on the show. Play them on the show. What do you guys think if we do some obsidian next week? That'd be great, right? I don't think I have any right here handy. I, I, I got this great piece of obsidian. Oh, my word. It's, it's pretty big, too. And I can't find it. I also have this really cool piece of blue adventuring. Got it from Jimmy, too. We're talking about Morganite. This stuff's great. I shaped this awesome piece. I think it's in my car somewhere. I can't find it. My very first piece of blue venturing, lost it. Mm. Gotta stop losing the gems, Jake. Stop losing your gemstones. No, oh, don't drop them. Don't lose them. Keep track of them. Dag nabbit. Stop. I got like this. Yeah, I got like a box of them. I need to find. Freaking freaking out. Oh my, it was pretty laggy. Or it, it it bigged, it was pretty lag. Lagged, it was pretty big. It, yeah, that was a big piece of uh, Blue Adventuring. Well, actually, Christina, I got this. It was all like one piece to get together, together, together. Together, sleigh bells ring. I'm gonna stop singing. So it was kind of like something like this ish esque in here, you know? And um, it was one big piece. And yeah, it, it really, I, it actually did fit together at one time. And so then, like, the other piece is out of here. Yeah, I got it out of there or something. Oh man, I just. It's, I, I want to sit here and make this like a puzzle. I want to solve it. I did. I got it. Got it. Got it. I gotta drop the gems anymore. Put them away. Away. Put them over there so I don't show them anymore. Okay, so the adventuring was big. I would like a big adventuring. I made an adve adventuring canoe. Yeah, it looks like a canoe of adventuring. Oh no, I broke it. Nobody saw. Nobody saw that. No, don't even know it. There, there was nothing to see. Nothing to see here. There's nothing to see. I mean, you didn't see anything. Nothing to see here. All right, before we go, and we're, we're, it's almost time to go. We're almost this video is almost done, so we gotta we gotta fire up the chat bot fast so that the thinger works. I got okay. So here's how it works. Whatever the stream token is, really. Yeah, I guess it's having trouble. We're not gonna tax it. It might make it laggy. Mm. Again, I did it again. Did it again. Are you listening? Wait a minute. Mother Nature has the circle thing. Does that mean your comment is buffering? Or does that mean my show is buffering? <laughs> being frisky. <laughs> the internet's being frisky. It's trying to frisk me. I Wait, well, yes. When I'm frisky, I am fris frisking. I will frisk... And like it's brisk. That doesn't make sense. But neither do I. And that's why it's the show. It's called Gemin' Out, right? It's not a normal show. It's a standard show. That's how we polish that out. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys some more Morganite. I think I'm gonna try and do some obsidian next week. I love you all for being here. You're all fantastic. Man, you guys are great. So many awesome people come by the show. I just, I, that's why I love going live, is for you guys, for you gals, for you awesome people, for the great folks out there in YouTube land. And I will see you next week, and every week I can, when I figure out the time. 
because it's supposed to say something else, right? Oh, and um, we got we gotta go check out Mother Nature's show. Jamming out with Frisky Business. It's Frisky Business. <laughs> oh man, you guys are great. I yeah. All right. Full disclosure. I have this great shirt on. Put it on for the show. No pants. Gonna put some pants on now. And then I'll see y'all later on Mother Nature's Awesomeness show. Cheers, and see you on the next one.